Kim, he told us he wants the country to, quote, tone it down. That is exactly right, Katie and Stephanie. Senator Jeff Flake just visited Scalise in the hospital. He says the rhetoric is just out of control. It's a country divided. He admits he's not sure if that's what led up to today's shooting, but either way, he wants to see a change. Republican congressman targeted by a man with a rifle. This could have been really, really bad. It would have been a massacre. Because Congressman Steve Scalise is in leadership, he was the only one traveling with security. These guys saved our lives. Once the gunman was down, Flake rushed in to apply pressure to Scalise's wound. And what followed was a bit of deja vu for the senator. He thought back to 2011 when Congresswoman Gabby Giffords was shot in Tucson. And, and waiting there in the hospital uh, for news of how uh, Gabby was doing, uh, doing the same thing for a good part of today. The accused gunman, James T. Hodgkinson, posted constantly on social media about taking down President Trump and the GOP. We are strongest when we are unified and when we work together for the common good. We ought to be more civil and have better discourse among us. It's, it's really gotten out of hand, uh, I think, on all sides. And Flake says it is crucial to play in this charity baseball game because it's one of the few bipartisan traditions left between Republicans and Democrats. I hope that we can change. I hope that both parties can really take a deep breath and say, let's go somewhere different. Flake also says that he had a chance to hear from President Obama today. He called him. He says they talked about Gabby Giffords, was it, what it was like in those days following the shooting and how there was a feeling of unity. He says it's horrible something like it, this has to happen to get that feeling, but he hopes that it'll stick this time after this shooting. Reporting live in the SAT Center, Kim Tobin, ABC 15, Arizona. Kim, thanks, and Gifford sitting down for an exclusive interview with Good Morning America. You'll see that tomorrow right here on ABC 15, and we can tell you she's on record saying our nation is resilient and we always come back stronger. And ASU